Hello, welcome back to Leisure Suit Larry 2. And we're going... We're, we're on the ship of the that we won in the last video, or the video before that. And, yeah, our cabin is on right at the bottom here. Oh, what a lovely room. Ooh, there's a big bowl of fruit there. Let's get fruit. Okay. All right. Let's go to... Let's have a sleep. Diary's tired. There's no time. Okay. All right. There's a door here. Open door. Ooh, yep. Ooh, hello. Well, well. How, what have we here? The woman says on the bed. Uh-oh, Larry. You've been caught entering someone else's stateroom. Why? I do believe it's that darling young man that my daughter won on TV, says the woman. Ah, daughter. I say, so it's Barbara's mother. Good Lord. She's that Lord Bachelorette, Barbara's mother. Yep. Poor little Barbie got the feeling too poorly that the cruise was about to start, so I decided to borrow her ticket and come along instead. Your mind quickly envisions Paradise Lost. I hope you don't mind. I convinced the purser that it was in his best interests, best interests to assign us adjoining cabins. I'm sure I can make your voyage enjoyable, if you know what I mean. I really want to get to know you, if you get my drift. After I saw you in the lottery show, I thought you were just about the cutest thing I'd ever seen. Except for my mister, of course. May he rest in peace. He was a good man, and usually quite sturdy, but one day his heart just couldn't take it anymore. You wonder if it's necessary for you to learn this. Honey, any time you want to come over and see Mama, just feel to pop in through that doorway, you hear? She attempts to give you a cute girlish smile. She fails. Okay... Let's save here. Let's, let's come, can we look in the cabinet? Open door. Not now. Mother would be displeased. Okay, let's go over here. You're not close enough. Oh, wow, Sonny, shrieks Big Mama. I thought you were never going to come over here. Sit here on the bed while I slip into something more comfortable. I bet you'd like this little mink-lined leather special, wouldn't you? Now, now you get comfortable in those chromo chromium chains and handcuffs conveniently attached to the four corners of the bed. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. <laughs> Mama proceeds to have your way with you repeatedly. Too bad her way isn't your way. You can see why this broad's a widow. Well, Larry, you screwed up again. Let's do it one more time. Okay, so... Stay away from Mama. Can we look? Mama? Must we? Oh, okay. Okay. You find women sexy. But in this case, you make an exception. Uh, Alright, so... Let's uh, exit the room. Let's go back in. Oops, she's gone. Alright, so one thing we need from here. Open drawer. Okay. Look drawer. Okay. You see lots of unmentionables which remain unmentioned, plus mother's sewing kit. Get kit. Okay. Alright. Let's close. Drawer. Jarir. Okay. Alright, don't think there's anything else in here. Can you go out this way? Nope. Alright, so. One thing we want to do in here. We want to. Change. Into. Swimsuit. Okay, this is a good place to change clothes. All right. So let's go out. Let's. Oh, wait. 
Now, what we want to do is, yeah, we don't want to stay here too long because once night falls and we get back into our cabin, we will fall asleep and, yeah, Mama will again have her way with us and we die. We get squished. Okay, so let's go to the pool area. All right, we're at the pool. So there's an empty chair here. So let's lie down. Oh, you're not close enough. I'm right there. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I forgot to do something. Ah! Those tropical you got V-rays can be deadly. All right, all right. Yeah, legitimately forgot. <laughs> See, I, I don't even have to... No, ah, no! Say, look who's back, says mother. It's my little friend from the next door. Came over for a little action, did we? Well, you've come to the right place. You've been caught in someone else's stateroom. You decided to make a run for it. Yep, I've been looking for a man like you ever since my mister had hit, hit his big one. What do you say we have a little fun? You, you like having fun, don't you? Hop over on the bed there, baby. Oh, fuck. All right. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> No, go away. Uh, I'm guessing she just pops up randomly. Open drawer. Ugh. Why can't I not spell drawer? Get kit. Okay. And let's get the hell out of here. Alright. Change suit. Okay, this is a good idea to change clothes. And now you have to climb up these pain the ass stairs again. Jeez, uh, this boat looks like it's going really, really quick. Oh, come on. Where are we headed to, anyway? Is it non tonight Island? Who knows? Alright. Now, this time, instead of just not being sun smart, we will... Where... Sunscreen. Okay, you fully, carefully rub the overexposed of your body, and let's lie. Okay. Ah, seems like a lovely day to catch a few rays. It's a good thing you applied that sunscreen. Oh, oh! Why, hello there, big fella," says the beautiful blonde with the body like a brick shipyard. "Why are you hanging around here? I've been looking for someone just like you for a long time. Why don't you come back to my place, and you won't have to hang around all alone ever again?" Gee, Zoe, you find yourself a live one. Okay, that sounds good. Come on, Samson. I just can't wait to get you all alone. Well, as long as you don't, um, oops, hurt me like Mama did, yeah, I will go with you. Hey, baby, you cry, wait for me. You'll let yourself to be seduced by the beautiful woman and quickly become close friends. Then head to the ship's fantail where she parks her private helicopter. A short romantic chopper ride across the South Pacific, Pacific, is followed by an intriguing look at her impressive garage door hidden by suspiciously by a mountain waterfall. Uh-oh. Where did we see a hidden waterfall? Later that night. Uh-oh. Well, you are so impressed. You never had a girl invite you to her pad before, not to mention her landing pad. Uh-oh. I recognize this logo from somewhere. That's on the bed and on the chopper. You just wait over there on the bed while I slip into slob while I slip something. She says with a smile, slip into something. Perhaps if things go well tonight, you think to yourself, I could give her a subscription to Popular Mechanics. Don't know what that means, but okay. Hey, baby, you say. What a great kinky bed. Oh, there's the handcuffs. Hey, what's going on here? You shout. Get these angle cuffs off me. And why the handcuffs? Oh. I'm just into mechanical devices, she replies with a smile. Hold still, darling. This will only take a second. Just take my onklonk, seriously. Oh, boy. 
Oh, shit. Why does that look like hydrofolic acid below me? You sit out in terror. Because it is silly, she responds. Oh, here comes giant laser. Ah! Oh, I didn't have to pause right there. Well, Larry, this begins a whole... This brings a whole new meaning to the term dismemberment. Oh, look at that face. Oh, no! And we're dead. Well, Larry, you screwed up again. Let's try it one more time. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, I'll try not to. There'll be many other scenes where we can... Yeah, get into that place. And yeah, I'll try not to show it again. Can't promise that I won't. Alright, so she's gone. So let's stand. Now that she's gone, I'm going to save again. And, well, there's a pool here. Let's go for a swim. Why jump into the water if you're not going to swim? Surely you learn to swim when you're a little dorker. What? Oh. Totally didn't remember that. Okay, I know what we have to do. Alright, gets into the water. Swim. Do we also have to tell Larry to breathe as well? Alright, now, there's something in here. Let's dive. Okay. Okay. Now, oops. What? what? What's oops? What? Exactly how long do you think you can hold her breath? Get bikini. You're not close enough. Get bikini. Okay. Now let's get back up. Oh, you feel your lungs explode. Do you think to yourself, gee, I wish I could hold my breath for longer. Or I owned a faster computer. All right, we're dead. Let's try that again. Okay. Swim. Dive. Oh, not here, you might hit the edge of the pool. Okay, dive. What? Okay. Now, come on, Larry. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, get. Get. Bikini. Okay, now get up. Up, 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 up. Oops. What, what, what's oops? Up, get... <sighs> Try again. Swim. Okay, I'm just going to save right here. Let's dive. Seriously. Okay. Now go, 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 go. Look at that little doggy paddle. Okay, go, go, go. I'm just using the mouse. Alright. Get bikini. Oh, get stuffed. Get bikini. Now go back up. Quick, 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 quick. Exactly how long? All right. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Get up. Yeah. All right. Let's talk, man. Hello, you say. There's no response. Rude bastard. All right. Let's get out. Okay. That was refreshing. Alright, what we want to do now, we want to go back to our room. And yeah, after we go back to our room, I don't think there's any need for us to go back there. And they've. Oh, how do I get down? Don't think there's any need for us to. Come on, go down. 
Yeah, there we go. And yes, yeah, sorry, what was I saying? Um, there's no need for us to go back to our room where Mama can, you know, have her way with us. All right. Oh yes, I can just use the mouse. That's so much easier. All right. And if you get a message saying night has fallen, well, yeah, it's too late. Don't know what exactly the time he is, but yeah, you'll die. All right, so don't go back down there. And look, we're now a dim bulb. Come on. All right. Uh, first, let's go up these stairs. What's this? Ah. Let's have a look. The upper deck of the ship stretches away from all directions. There is a lifeboat hanging around here. Get in boat. Okay. Okay. Gee, this is exciting. Are we having fun yet? Okay, let's get out. Okay, so obviously we don't want to go there yet. All right, let's have a look. The ship's revolving nightclub has a television set behind the bar and counter and one empty stool. There's a complimentary bowl of spinach dip at the end of the bar. All right, let's get dip. Grab the loaf of French bread filled with spinach, mayonnaise, and spices. Mmm, good. Okay, so I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a drink on the ship. I'm at the bar. And if Sierra Games, if I know it's my Sierra Games, if we have too much to drink, we're just going to die. Get drink. You don't need it. Talk man. There's no one here interested in talking to you. No. Talk bartender. Hi, you say to the bartender with a smile. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. Thanks for telling me responds sarcastically. Well, that didn't work, Larry. Buy drink. Don't say drink to me again. Do you have any drinks with parasols and fruit? You ask the bartender. But of course, he replies, allow me to fix you the specialty of the house. Heavy on the pineapple, okay? You ask. No problem, he says. Somehow, I would have guessed that. Here's to ya, you say to no one in particular. Whoa! Aha! Got you, you vicious devil of enemy of the people, cries the bartender, subtly revealing himself as a member of the KBG, KGB. How's that for extra pineapple, you sap? Alright, yep. Mm -hmm. The bartender's Mickey is desired. Your central nervous system, you give the KGB no problems during the transit to your lo their local headquarters. We'll drop by and see how they're getting along. Yeah, 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 um, we've seen this death scene. Yeah, 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 restore. Okay, so we don't want to get a drink. I was right. And, you know, what's the view going to be like with a rotating, you know, a rotating restaurant on a, on a ship where, you know, you're not going to see anything but... You know, ocean. Oh, hello. Is there anything you do with this hairline of mine? You ask the barber. But of course, mister. I've got exactly what you need. Just have a seat in the chair, please. Ugh, yep. 
This is what we need it for. Just ripped off the mop. Yes, I have exactly what you need. So it's all the rage, the latest thing. You see it everywhere these days. In fact, you guys make a lot of money with one of these. I call it the Jimmy model. And I'm sure you'll like it just fine. He places the Jimmy carefully on your head. Impeccable fit, he cries. And for you, the price is right. Only $10,000. But I consider it more of an investment than an expense. 10 k for a wig? Oh, what the hell. It's not like it's your money. Why you not let those suckers who paid for all those Lucko Bucko tickets treat you to a new look? I'll take it, you. And you peel the $100 from your rapidly depleting wad. <laughs> The barber bids you farewell with a sweet, have a nice day. Catch a good look at yourself in the mirror and the wig and stick it in your inner jacket pocket. You tell the barber, thanks a lot, but I think I'll just save this so my cable cam application is approved. Alright, so one place we haven't been yet. It's up the top here, I believe. What is this? What could this be? Oh, it's the captain of the ship. All right, let's save right here. Let's talk to man. No, better not. You're not supposed to be in here as of now. He hasn't seen you. Leave him alone. Okay, uh, let's have a look. You have the distinct feeling that you should not be messing around on the bridge of a large ocean-goring vessel. So far, the captain hasn't noticed you better keep it that way. I can see there's like a little lever here. Look, lever. There is a large toggle switch labelled Lifeboat Timer on the console directly behind the captain. Aha, uh -huh. so, lifeboat. So, I'm guessing if we pull that, then the lifeboats will be able to take us off this ship, because we need to get us off this ship before nightfall. First, what's out here? Oh! Oh, sh no! Look out, Larry! He's firing a poison dart! Oh, oh, he missed me. At least he missed you. However, the captain lies dying on the deck. The ship is drifting helplessly t on the high seas. Though you, through your ineptitude, you've only you've allowed your captain to be killed by a KGB poison dart. Unbeknown to the passengers, the cruise ship now charts its own course, of course. That course is straight for the nearest reef. Perhaps you'll miss the reef and miss the grief. Save the ship and save the day. Perhaps you will even escape safely. Nah, no way. You knew better than that. Uh, okay. Alright, so don't mess around in here. What we want to do in here? Let's pull lever. Yeah, faint ticking sound starts to sound. Alright, let's now, let's get to the lifeboat. Oh, no, 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 no. How did the captain not hear the uh, lifeboats going, by the way? Come on, get up. Look, sh the sh look, the ship has come to a standstill in the water. They must be preparing for the lifeboat drill. You better not leave this area. Oh, yeah? What happens if we do? Nope, game doesn't let you. Okay, well, I hope I have everything. I'm sure I'll find out much later if um, I don't. The lifeboat drill has brought the ship to a standstill. What have you done, Larry? A siren wails in the warning cry. The lifeboat begins to shake. You made it to the lifeboat in the nick of time. All right, there lowers the ships, and there we go. I'm just going to save. Lifeboat. And there we go. Slowly, you drift away from the cruise ship. You wonder what you forgot to pack. Oh, crap. All 
All right, and there we are. Oh, we look so sad. And as the good ship USS Love Tub slowly sinks behind the horizon, we rejoin our noble hero in his latest predicament. Isn't it funny how time flies when you're having fun? One. We're now a Cretan. Two. Three. Don't tell me these are going to actually be like, you know, hours and not days. Four. Boy, that sun is hot. Ah, uh, fuck. Second degree burns from the sun are no laughing matter, Larry. Looks like that sunscreen is not waterproof. What? Okay, do I have to put on the sunscreen again? Better luck next cruise, Larry. Ah. Okay, so while we're on this screen here, let's wear sunscreen. You apply the, yep. Yeah. Slowly, you drift away and you wonder if you got to pack. Yeah, 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 yeah. There goes the ship again. And the days will start counting again. One. Two. Three. Four. Boy, that sun is hot. It's a good thing you use that sunscreen to block out those ultraviolets. The sun out here is hot enough to fry an egg. Yeah, baby. Woohoo. You think the sun must be even hotter today? Ah, oh, fuck. Our bald spot's on fire. Fuck. Ah, we burnt again. The tropical sun has turned your bald brain to an omelette cooked with sunny side soft, Larry. Better luck next crew. Uh, f yeah. Ah. Alright, forgot about the wig. Alright. Where. What? Sunscreen. Yep. And what else? Oh, yes. Put on wig. Good idea, it would be a perfect time. Yes, alright. Oh, but, but. Ah, stuff it. I'll just show you the death scene. Hey, don't we look good in our... in our mop wig. Really brings out our blue eyes, I think. Isn't that funny how time flies? Yes, yes, yes. And yeah, we actually can't type anything right here. I was just about to, yeah, do something else, which I think is the last thing we need to do. But I missed it. On purpose. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. You think the sun must be even hotter today? It's a good thing you wore that silly wig. The sun out here is hot enough to fry your brains. Yeah. Your thirst becomes more and more intense with every passing day. Visions of pre classic Coke float before your eyes. You extract the grotesque gulp from your inside coat pocket and surprise to discover it's retained its 32-gallon capacity. You now know, you now have enough fluid to last you for weeks, but you are worried about your blood sugar level. Alright. Your hunger grows with in Yeah. Your hunger grows intense with the passing of your days. Passing of the days. Ah, oh, they are days. Visions of Danny's pizza float before your eyes. It's a good thing you brought along that spinach dip. Uh, yeah. Turned into an alien. Unfortunately, the mayonnaise is spoiled in the hot tropical sun. Better luck next cruise, Larry. Okay, okay. That took a little, little bit longer than I expected. Alright, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where... Sunscreen? 
Yep. Where wig. Yep. And throw dip. A good idea. You toss the spinach dip as far over the ocean as you can, which is not really that far. All right. I'm pretty sure that's it. <laughs> I think that's what we need to survive. We've got everything else that we need. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apologies for taking you through this scene again. I hope we got everything you needed on the ship. I'm pretty sure we did. Boy, that sun is hot. Good thing sunscreen. Sun must be even hotter today. Good thing you wore that silly wig. Hey, I just realized, does Larry have like light blue nail polish on? Your thirst becomes more and more intense. Yep, the gulp. You cleverly opened the sewing kit you stole from that mother's nightstand. Extract a safety pin and the thread. You patiently fish for hours, but eventually catch your limit. Your limit for th raw fish is quite low. Day 9, and we're up to day 10. Hey, and we're a creep. During a particularly rough storm, late in the tenth night at sea, your lifeboat crashes on the coral reef and shatters to bits. You grab the largest piece of wood you can, hold on tight, and survive the storm. The dawn finds you crashing through the offshore reef, tumbling through the surf to a gorgeous beach. Alright, we did it. Hey, Larry, that's you in the surf. Land ho! you cry. Yeah. Oh, good. Here comes someone to help you. Hey, you bastard. Asshole. Congratulations, Larry. You survived weeks adrift on the high seas with nothing but courage, perseverance, and a few humble provisions endured by tropical storms, vicious winds, and high seas in a tiny lifeboat prevailed over the surf offshore the shore barrier reef and razor sharp coral escaped the dangerous mother, avoided the vicious KGB and the tempting enticements of Dr. No Nookie's henchets hordes, and withstood that creep's audacious humour. And you're still as good as new, but boys, you're suit a mess. Ah, oh, good as new. Don't you love good polyester? Alright. But now you wonder, where am I? And what possessions survived your disastrous journey? What did we? What a doe, passport, onklonk, bikini top. Hey, what happened to that fruit? Why don't we eat the fruit that was um, left us in our cabin by, I think it was from Mama. Uh, Alright, so that's the four things we got left. Wait, where'd our wig go? Alright. Anyway, let's just save here. We are on... Whoop. We are beached as. Alright, can we go for a swim? You'll have no desire to return to the ocean after all you went through on the lifeboat, Larry. Okay. Alright, we'll leave it here. We're a creep. And, yeah, see you in the next video.